part four of Undertale. I just finished flicking all the switches and heading over here. I thought it would be boring for you guys to see me fight Vegetoid and die a bunch of times. Um, I didn't die, but I'm on nine health and I had to eat two pieces of food in my inventory in order to not die, so. Let's get going. I'm going to probably encounter another fight here soon. I should rather not. Whoa! Oh dear. That took longer than I thought it would. How did you get here, my child? Are you hurt? There, there. I will heal you. Thank you. <laughs> I'm like on 9 health. I should not have left you alone for so long. It was irresponsible to try and surprise you like this. Er... Uh, well, I suppose I could not hide it any longer. Come, small one. Just hope I don't encounter any fights along the way. Oh, save. Nice. Seeing such a cute, tidy house in the ruins gives you determination. Do you smell that? Surprise! It's a butterscotch cinnamon pie! I thought you might... I thought it... Oh, sorry. I thought we might celebrate your arrival. I want you to have a nice time living here. So I will hold off on snail pie for tonight. Here, I have another surprise for you. I love Torio. She's my friend. This is it. A room of your very own. I hope you like it. I love Torio so much. Is something burning? Um, make yourself at home. Look at these cool toys. They don't interest you at all. <laughs> How nice of me. An empty photo frame. It's really dusty. A box of kids' shoes and disparity of sizes. Hmm, I don't know what that means. Does that mean like... We have seen this type of plant before, but not know its name. It's Toriel's room. I wanna look in Toriel's room. It's Toriel's diary. Read the circle pass passage. Passage? Yes. You read the passage. Read the passage. Whatever. Why did the skeleton want a friend? I wonder who you're talking about! <laughs> Cause I know. <laughs> okay, okay. Because she was feeling bonely. Oh my god. This page is filled with jokes of similar caliber. This is gonna be full of, like, skeleton puns this whole game. <laughs> I haven't even watched that much of this game, and I know it's gonna be full of phone puns. Just a regular old bucket of snails. Cause, you know, that's normal. It's an encyclopedia of subterranean plants. Do you, you open in the middle. Typha, a plant of wetland flowering plants a, a group of wetland flowering plants with brown oblong seed pods, known more commonly as water sausages. Well then, you peek inside. Scandalous! Oh! It's Torio Suck Jar. <laughs> ah, the cactus, truly the most cindery of plants. <laughs> nice. Definitely bigger than a twin size bed. Instead of drawer, flower seeds and some broken crayons. Room under renovations. It's you! Oh! It's a water sausage! <laughs> Very glad we've made that observation. Now that I'm in Toriel's home, I know what's to come, and I'm really sad. Because I love Toriel. These books are worn. They must have been read many times. Inside is an old calendar from the beginning of 21X. The ends of the tools have been filed down to make them safer. I probably still could, like, hurt myself with them, though. It's a history book. Here's a random page. 
trapped behind the barrier and fear f and fearful of further human attacks we retreated far far into the earth we walked until we reached the cavern's end this was our new home which we named home <laughs> as great as our king is he is pretty lazy in names I know what's to come, so I want to make sure I get through everything before I do that. The stove top is very clean. Toriel must use fire magic instead. When, what a nice smell. Too hot to eat, though. Inside the cupboard are cookie cutters for gingerbread monsters. There is some white fur stuck in the drain. How lovely. For some reason, there's a brand name chocolate bar in the fridge. Why is that odd? Am I missing out on something here? So I know what's to come next. So I'm just gonna go ahead and go to sleep. I'm trying to know how to do this. So yeah. You found a slice of butterscotch cinnamon pie. This music makes it kind of sadder though. I'm sorry. Oh, it's because the lights are off. I liked it better that way. So guys, I'm sorry, it's gotta get sad now. Up already, I see. Um, I want you to know I'm glad to have someone here. There are so many old books I want to share. I want to show you my favorite bug hunting spot. I also prepared a curriculum for, curriculum for your education. This may come as a surprise to you, but I've always wanted to be a teacher. Actually, perhaps that isn't very surprising. Still, I'm glad I have someone living here. Oh, did you want something? What is it? When can I go home? What? This... This is your home now. Um, would you like to hear about the book I'm reading? It's called 72, 72 Uses for Snails. Let's see, I know two different passages from this. Let's see if I... Which one I get. Sure. Here's an exciting snail fact. Did you know that snails make, make horrible shoelaces? Oh! No! I <laughs> sometimes flip their digestive systems as they mature. I thought they were going to be like, they make terrible shoelaces, because that's usually, that's, I've seen that two times already. Interesting. Yeah. Well, bother me if you need anything else. How to exit the rooms. I have to do something. Stay here. I'm going to follow you, Toriel. I know where you went to. Time to get sad, you guys. You wish to know to return home, do you not? Ahead of us lies the end of the ruins. A one-way exit to the rest of the underground. I'm going to destroy it. No one will ever be able to leave again. Now go be a good child and go obsess. I'm going to be a bad child and follow you. Every human that falls down here meets the same fate. I have seen it again and again. They come, they leave, they die. You naive child, if you leave the ruins, they, Asgore, will kill you. I'm only protecting you. Do you understand? Go to your room. There's no way to progress in the game if I do that. I would love to do that though. Do not try to stop me. This is your final warning. You want to leave so badly? <laughs> you are just like the others. There's only one solution to this. <sighs> I'm gonna lose. Prove yourself. Prove to me that you're strong enough to survive. Oh. Toriel blocks the way. I could so take that route. No, I'm just kidding. You couldn't think of a conversation topic. Oh, I'm gonna die. Oh no, 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 God! <sighs> Toriel prepares a magic attack. Toriel, talk. You try to think something and say, again, but... This is so hard! <laughs> if I just stand still, it doesn't hurt me as bad. Ironically, talking doesn't seem to be the solution to the situation. I know what it is, but I'd rather not. 